The special counsel has a reputation as the all-knowing investigator, but Andrew D. Goldstein, a former Time magazine reporter, has a day-to-day -day role in one of the central lines of investigation. Washington, the routine was always the same. President Trump's lawyers would drive to heavily secured offices near the National Mall, surrender their cell phones, head into a windowless conference room and resume tense negotiations over whether the special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, would interview Mr. Trump. But Mr. Mueller was not always there. Instead, the lawyers tangled with a team of prosecutors, including a little-known but formidable adversary, Andrew D. Goldstein, 44, a former Time magazine reporter who is now a lead prosecutor for Mr. Mueller in the investigation into whether the president obstructed justice. Mr. Mueller is often portrayed as the omnipotent fact-gatherer, but it is Mr. Goldstein who has a much more involved, day-to-day -day role in one of the central lines of investigation. Mr. Goldstein, the lone prosecutor in Mr. Mueller's office who came directly from a corruption unit at the Justice Department, has conducted every major interview of the president's advisors. He questioned Donald F. McGahn too, Mr. Trump's former White House counsel, and Michael D. Cohen, Mr. Trump's former fixer and lawyer, for dozens of hours. He signed Mr. Cohen's plea agreement. He conducted grand jury questioning of associates of Roger J. Stone Jr., the former advisor to Mr. Trump who was indicted last month. And he was one of two prosecutors who relayed to the president's lawyers dozens of questions about Mr. Trump's behavior in office that Mr. Mueller wanted the president to answer under oath. The questions showed the Mueller team's hand for the first time, extensive, detailed lines of inquiry that could imperil the presidency. He knew the facts like I knew the facts, John Dowd, Mr. Trump's former lawyer, said of Mr. Goldstein, over the past two years, Mr. Trump has waged a regular assault on prosecutors and other law enforcement officials investigating him, particularly on Mr. Mueller's team. But mounting a high-level criminal case on obstruction is rare and complex, and even more difficult when the subject is a sitting president. Now that Mr. Mueller is expected to deliver his report in the coming weeks, Mr. Goldstein's past as a prosecutor offers a glimpse into how he might be helping the special counsel make a final determination. Interviews with Mr. Goldstein's colleagues and friends and an examination of his past work reveal someone profoundly at odds with the cowboy-like image Mr. Trump has painted of Mr. Mueller's team. He is one of the few in the group with a career outside the law, in addition to working for time, Mr. Goldstein was a high school teacher, and is known for his non-confrontational personality and cautious approach to prosecutions. Before Mr. Mueller hired him, Mr. Goldstein, the son of a former Republican United States attorney, led the corruption unit in the United States Attorney's Office in Manhattan as the office made a highly unusual call to announce that it had declined to charge Mayor Bill de Blasio with a variety of crimes. The decision revealed how restrained high-level prosecutors often are in major political investigations. Investigating and prosecuting public corruption offenses can only go so far, Mr. Goldstein said in a rare speech around the time he joined the special counsel's team in 2017. We can only police the outer bounds of misconduct, the really bad stuff, or at least the stuff that we can prove. From the beginning, the Byzantine structure of the Mueller investigation split its dozen-plus prosecutors into silos and specialties, money laundering, hacking, national security and public corruption. Starting in the summer of 2017, when Mr. Trump's closest White House advisors were summoned to Mr. Mueller's offices, they typically met the same calm stare and gravelly voice of the man his former high school students still call Mr. Goldstein. With James L. Quarles III, a former prosecutor in the Watergate investigation, Mr. Goldstein has led the office's investigation into whether the president's dismissal of the FBI director, James B. Comey, and Mr. Trump's repeated assaults on the Justice Department, should be considered obstruction of justice. He has tried to determine the president's motives in Mr. Comey's firing during dozens of hours questioning Stephen K. Bannon, Mr. Trump's former chief strategist, and nearly seven hours with Jared Kushner, Mr. Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law, in April. As evidence spilt over two years, Mr. Goldstein functioned as a repository of conversations that Mr. Trump had with lawyers, advisors and top law enforcement officials from early 2017 on. Among Mr. Goldstein's jewels, according to Mr. Trump's lawyers, exhaustive notes taken by Annie Donaldson, Mr. McGahn's former chief of staff, which detailed in real time Mr. Trump's behavior in the West Wing.
Defense lawyers who worked with Mr. Mueller also say that Mr. Goldstein, a donor to President Barack Obama's campaigns, is the temperamental opposite of prosecutors on the team like Andrew Weissman, known for a more hostile disposition. When tensions flared during witness interviews, lawyers would take Mr. Goldstein aside to soothe disputes. That did not mean Mr. Goldstein's work was seamless, while the president's legal team was initially cooperative with Mr. Goldstein and his fellow investigators, delivering key witnesses and millions of documents, the mood changed when Mr. Trump brought on the longtime Washington lawyer Emmett T. Flood. Mr. Flood promptly imposed restrictions on the West Wing's participation, including limits to questions for the White House Chief of Staff, John F. Kelly. Mr. Goldstein acknowledged to associates that Mr. Flood made his life more difficult, just before Mr. Mueller and some of his earliest hires brought Mr. Goldstein to Washington for job interviews, Mr. Goldstein and the United States Attorney's Office in Manhattan faced a political investigation with familiar parallels to Mr. Mueller's inquiry. Mr. Goldstein was leading a team of prosecutors under Preet Bharara, then the United States attorney in Manhattan, who were investigating whether Mr. de Blasio had committed a series of corruption crimes, bribery, pay-to-play and campaign fraud.